Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're back here today with another challenge video. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, so let's get on with the crafts. Let's go! Alright, here we go with DIY number one. For this first DIY, you're going to need eight of these little uh, wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to tell you ahead of time, while I'm trying to get this glue undone, because it's not coming out because it's got a little plug in it so anyway um you're gonna need eight of these i will tell you ahead of time i do not have a final reveal picture for this because i am uh, getting ready to do a setup and i'll tell y'all more about that later and it's already packed away and i thought i took a picture of it before i packed it you guys so i'm sorry so what we're doing is we're creating some little legs for a tray and it's a metal tray it's a coca-cola tray so what you're going to need for this is these little legs and you want to make sure that they're all the same height and the easiest way to do that is lay a ruler on them just like i dish, just did then the next thing we're going to do is bring over our little tray and there's the tray and we are going to put some E6000 on it now for it to stick to the metal tray and that's it for this one and I would say we'd see it at the final reveal but me I got ahead of myself. <laughs> now this is the third Thursday thrift flip and it is by open invite so if you're interested check out these ladies here and one of them can get you signed up and this month's challenge is hosted by the rusted willow hosted by rustic chick designs and this month's co-host is the robin's nest by terry now all of these ladies are very talented and you need to go check out their channels and you're not going to want to miss them because they're doing some awesome crafts there's also a playlist in the description box below that you can click the link and it will take you to the playlist of all the ladies and gentlemen that are participating in this challenge so go check them out because they're doing some awesome crafts and you sure don't want to miss it now here we go with DIY number two now for this DIY I found this beautiful uh, ceramic style vase or vase uh, pitcher, whatever you want to call it. Um, I call it a pitcher really more than I would a vase, but you could put flowers in it and look real pretty. I found it. It looks good just like it is, and I'm going to change it because that's me. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to try out my white wax. Now, I've only, I think I've only used the white wax one other time, but I'm going to first paint this with the Dollar Tree craft paint uh, that is in the, or craft paint, chalk paint that we, you get from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah, I am just stumbling over my words. <laughs> um, so I put me a glove on the hand that's going to be touching everything because I am sure to get some paint on me and I'm trying to keep as much of it off of me as possible due to my allergies. Um, I'm not allergic to this paint, but it seems that if I get into too much stuff, I have problems. So I'm just trying to prevent so that I can keep giving y'all good videos. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Now, after we finish that and let it sit and dry, it's important. Let it dry. Don't be the impatient crafter because y'all know I'm the impatient crafter and you don't want to do like me. So... Anyway, I am getting this white wax out, and this is the first time I've opened this bottle, and I'm going to use it. it. This is the Waverly White Wax, and it's kind of creamy-like, and I wasn't sure whether I needed to put it on with a with this little sponge brush or what I needed to put it on with, but I'm just rubbing it on there, making sure I get it down in the cracks, and then I'm going to come back and wipe it back so that some of that stays on there. Now, here's where I realized, oops, I didn't get me nothing out to wipe this down with. So now I'm going to take a baby wipe and start wiping it back until it looks like I want it to. And you guys, this turned out gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And actually, that looks like a paper towel, not a, 
a baby wipe. I think I switched to the baby wipe in a little bit because it was getting dry on me before I could get it wiped back off. Like I said, this is my first time using the wax. I actually really like how this turned out and I will be doing it a lot more. We just continued putting it on and wiping it back until it looked like we wanted it to and then we're going to let it dry and it will be ready to go and so we will see this at the final reveal. Okay let's jump right into DIY number three. Right, for this DIY I got this gorgeous chicken from this gorgeous hen I should say from a garage sale it is ceramic and it was unfinished so I'm going over it with the black chalk paint from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it completely black now this this really turns out gorgeous so y'all want to stay to the end and see this one and then after it completely dries and you want to make sure it's completely dry don't be impatient like me and then you're going to take some of this gold antiquing wax that's the rub and buff and you're just going to start rubbing it in and I'm going to get it in frame for you in just a few minutes but you're going to start going over your whole hen with this and it just makes all that texture and everything on this hen just pop out now you're not going to need too much of that rub and buff so you see how I put a little bit of it on the back of my hand and then I start rubbing it in you you just want to keep doing that until it gets to the desired look that you want and we will see the rest of this at the final reveal because it is gorgeous now at this time we'd like to thank our subscribers we love you bunches and we really appreciate you and here we are with the final reveal All right, y'all, we're back from the craft desk, and didn't these just turn out awesome? Well, if you like this content, subscribe, like, and share, because it really helps our video out. And for all our subscribers, thank you so much for everything you do for us by subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>